This is Business Life. Now, the Bank of Ghana is to introduce policies early next year to address challenges in the foreign exchange sector. Government is also to set up is also set up to commit one million Ghana cities next year to revamp the Northern Star Tomato Factory at Palugu in the Upper East Region, which has been defunct for some time now. These are many more coming up on the Business News Roundup. The festive season has heightened the fears of local poultry farmers over cheap imported frozen chicken dominating the market. The Ghana National Association of Poultry Farmers is worried the long-standing challenge is yet to be resolved and is therefore asking government to quickly introduce a comprehensive policy to oversee the poultry industry. The Sekandita Karade Chamber of Commerce and Industry says it is happy that the petroleum sector local content and participation policy has been passed into law. The STCCI is therefore entreating all its members, all players in the industry, to respect this law by submitting their local content plans to the committee on time so that the Petroleum Commission can also make it public in good time. Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Henry Kofiwampa, has dropped hints the bank will introduce policies early next year to address challenges in the foreign exchange sector. While wishing Ghanaians the best in the festive season, Dr. Henry Kofiwampa assured of a more strengthened economy in the coming year. The Central Securities Depository and the GSE Securities Depository Company Limited have merged into a single entity to make trading of fixed income and equity securities more efficient. The measure is also to reduce the transaction cost for participants of the capital market and make it more attractive to investors. Livestock dealers in Accra are cashing in on the festive season. Dealers confirmed to join news that patronage of the animals is high as compared to last year. Dealers in Christmas gifts particularly hampers are, however, lamenting over poor sales this festive season. Join news's checks in town reveal the number of Christmas hampers awaiting customers. Minister of Trade and Industry Harun Idrisi says government will commit up to 1 million Ghana cities next year to revamp the Northern Stars tomato factory at Paulugu in the Upper East region, which has been defunct for some time now. The Trade Minister made this known after inaugurating a seven-member interim management board of the factory at Paulugu in the Upper East region. The Volta River Authority is expected to save over $500 million a year when the turbo gas processing plant starts supplying lean gas to the Authority for Electricity Generation. This was disclosed by the CEO of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. Joyce Payanki, when the members of the Standing Committee of the Western Regional House of Chiefs visited the turbo gas project site. The Bank of Ghana has been advised to come out with a regulatory support framework to govern the operations of microfinance institutions in the country. Some operating microfinance companies who are making this appeal say drastic changes must be made to the framework to save the industry from collapse. They are concerned the microfinance industry is losing its public credibility and needs the attention of government to get public acceptability. They are asking the central bank to prepare draft supervision and protection code that would be adopted by all microfinance institutions for the operations. We go for a little break now, but when we come back, we'll tell you a bit more about some concerns that banks have concerning interest rates, non-bank financial institutions, and depositors. Stay with us. <music> 